Hi, I'm Carl with the Mind Record Music Outfitters in Littleton, Massachusetts, here today to talk about tambourines. Now, you may think a tambourine is a tambourine is a tambourine, but uh, there are really a lot of them. They're all different. I have a few here that I'm going to show you and talk about some of the choices you have to make when you're choosing a tambourine. Let's start with choice number one. This tambourine I was just playing has a head, of course. But this guy doesn't. Okay, still got two rows of jingles, still made of wood, but very different sounds. Along with the head, you've got the drum aspect of things. And the one without the head, mostly jingle sound. Alrighty, choice number one. Choice number two, do you want one row of jingles or two rows of jingles. This guy has two rows, this guy has one row. With two rows of jingles, I get a more complex, richer sound. Like that. With one row of jingles, I get a clearer, crisper, simpler sound. I hear those again. Two rows. One row. Okay. So that was choice number two. Choice number three, what do you want the hoop of your, or the, uh, the shell of your tambourine to be made of? Here I've got a wood shell, and here I have a plastic or an ABS shell. The wood shell, again, gives you a richer sound, more resonant. The ABS shell, gives you a crisper sound, even with two jingles. You might want the ABS shell, for example, if you're playing in a plugged-in ensemble, plugged-in band. Um, also, quite honestly, they're more durable, so if you're really going to be playing in a, in a serious, aggressive way, you may want the ABS version. All right, so that's choice number three. Choice number four, how about shape? These big, full-size traditional tambourines can get pretty tiring if you're playing a whole set, a number of songs in a row. So, here we have a, a sort of an egg-shaped oval tambourine, a little less leverage on the wrist, easier to play, nice grip, but it still sounds good. Okay, that was choice number four. And choice number five is the material that the jingles are made of. Now, you're not going to find too many stores that have a choice of different metals for the jingles. Our tambourines come from a company by the name of Meinl. They're a German company, very popular around the world, just becoming known here in the U.S., and they make a really wide range of percussion instruments for some very reasonable prices. So, our tambourines here, I have regular steel jingles on this side, and over here, I have the same kind of wood shell, same kind of double... Uh, rows of jingles, but these are hammered brass. So listen to the difference. Steel, hammered brass. Totally different sound, right? Hear those again. Those are the steel, hammered brass. A lot heavier, thicker sound out of the hammered brass. All right, so there's just a couple examples of different choices in tambourines. We have a whole bunch of them here for you to come in and try and play. Uh, we have more on the way. In fact, I just ordered another bunch of different models from the folks at Mile. Um, and they have a very thick catalog of yet more styles of tambourines. I counted 59 in their latest catalog, and we can get any of them for you. We even have finger jingles, foot tambourines, these guys as well as even an Afro-Brazilian instrument called a pandeira, which is a kind of a tambourine on steroids. So come on in, give these tambourines a try. I think you'll be pleased at all the different sounds they can add to your music. See you soon. Thanks for watching.